So let's let's go let's go back to <clears throat> you know uh, what I recall from our meeting there. So the business model of what you did. So one, if I remember, that you didn't directly work for the government because if you did get caught, then it would look like it's the government. So it was a corporation that you would work for. Uh, and, and that corporation is who would send you to go negotiate on behalf of the U.S. government with not necessarily the bigger countries. It was more smaller, uh, not even mid-sized. So you would just say it was smaller countries that you would go to that had some kind of a natural resource that America wanted. And then the negotiation was, we're going to come and build some infrastructure. We'll invest some money into your country. They'll go into a shit ton of debt. Then in a way to get money back is you're going to allow us to build a military in your country. You're going to give us these resources for 50 cents on a dollar or 10 cents on a dollar, pretty much for nothing. And then if you don't listen to us, we're going to kill you. Is that pretty much explain the business model you followed? Yes. And uh, yes, it is. And so the we're going to kill you part was I, I wasn't going to kill them. I never carried a gun, but I knew the guys were right behind me. We called them jackals. They were CIA That's assets. That's what you were talking about, Hitman, earlier. Yeah. They'd be in the room with you while you're having this conversation? No, no. They'd, no. Uh, they, they, I, suppo- I theoretically didn't know anything about them. But Who's I did- in the room with you when you're having these conversations? Are you the point man? Or are you saying, hey, here's the deal? Yeah. I'm, I'm, and who's with you? I'm probably just meeting one-on-one with the Minister of Finance or perhaps the President. You're rolling in solo to these countries. And having these... Well, no, I've, I've got two or three of the guys who work for me okay. outside. They're probably not sitting in the meeting. They might be. It, they it. just depended. But but they were there to help produce the numbers. I, I was I, Frankly, I was a lousy economist. <laughs> I was chief economist, but I was a good, I was a good talker. I, like I said, I was a good con artist. But I knew how to hire the guys that could crunch the numbers huh. and come up with these econometric models that showed how much the country was going to benefit that was used to convince the presidents, and they would use it to convince their people, the press in their countries, and so on. You know, there was an interesting cartoon that sort of sums this up uh, that came out many many years ago, and it showed me, or an economic hitman, in one hand, holding a fistful of dollars and saying, hey, Mr. President, in this hand, I've got hundreds of millions of dollars for you and your family if you buy my deal. And then in this hand, I got a gun. In case you don't. And that was pretty much it. I didn't have the gun, but I knew that the, mm-hmm. and he knew because the United States, you know, we've admitted to taking out and, and, and ending the, the, the life of, of Salvador Allende of, of, of Chile, uh, the Shah of Iran, uh, and Mossadegh in Iran before that, Mossadegh particularly. And we didn't really take out the Shah, we took out Mossadegh. Lumumba in the Congo, Ziem in Vietnam, Arbenz in Guatemala, and recently, 2009, in Honduras, President Zelaya. So a lot of the activity was in uh, Central America, South America, and then in the Middle East, is that, or Africa, where, where, it's, or it, the majority of the countries? Anywhere, any country that had resources, our, our corporations coveted, that needed money also. Well, and in some, like Iran, that didn't really need the money, but, we, but they needed us to protect them from Russia. Uh-huh. And and Saudi Arabia, you know, had the, had the, their reasons, but usually it was countries that needed money, had resources. I focused a lot on Latin America because I'd been there a lot. I speak fluent Spanish, so it was a mm-hmm. it was a it was a natural for me. But I also spent probably during the ten years a, a year in Iran, uh, a lot of time in Indonesia. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye bye.